So initially AAB served as a potential candidate of my substring. Later on, it was replaced by BABB, which become a which became a longer substring. So the intuition which I am trying to talk about is this is the core formula which you have to use. You have so today let's talk about this question called longest repeating character replacement. It's a very interesting question on uh, the application of sliding window algorithm. I've already covered a bunch of different questions on sliding window. Uh, the playlist's link will be in the description. So please check it out. I've also covered the theoretical aspects of sliding window. How do they work? And uh, yeah, let's begin. So let's try to understand what this question is talking about. So we are being given a string S and an integer K. We can choose any character from the string and change it to any uppercase English character so the string is having all the uppercase letters and this changing of character can be performed at most k times like upper limit is k maximum k times you can of course do it less than k also but maximum you can do k times after doing this you have to return the length of the longest substring which contains the same letter which you can get after performing the uh, above operation so the, the so the operation that we have to do is choose a character and change it to any other uppercase and do it two times or three times whatever the k value is so and do it as, as many number of times as k is given like maximum is that much which we can do so if we do that uh, after doing that we have to return the longest substance if we take a look at this example a b a b k is two so if we change the two a's to two b because k is 2, so I can change a to b twice, I will get the longest substring with all the b's. b will be 4 times. So that is why the length of the longest substring will become 4. It can also be happening vice versa. Like you change the 2 b's to 2 a. So you get 4 a's. In the second example, k is 1. Means only one time I can perform. So if you notice this substring, if we change b to a, I'll get all 4 a's. So the length will become 4. If you notice this substring, b a b b, if I change this a to b, I'll get another longest substring, b a b b. Or if you see this substring A, A, B, if I change all the uh, the B to A, just one, and then I'll get three A's. But of course, the length is three, but we've already seen a longer substring. So then I'll return the longer substring. So this is the entire gist of the question. We have to change the letter to something opposite, some other letter. But the constraint is we can do it only K times. Now let's understand what is the thought process to solve this question. So what can be the thought process to this? So what I was saying is, imagine this being a substring or this entire thing being a substring or even this being a substring. If you notice, when I was saying that I have A, A, B, I'll change this B into A and I'll get three A's and that becomes my current length and I'll store it in some max and I'll do a math dot max and get the maximum length. So I just store this, my current max is three. So the thought process behind doing this is something like this. So I will take three variables mainly. What are the three variables? One is I want to see my current window length. Where am I right now? So in this case, A, B, my current window length is three. Second thing I want to see is maximum repeating character. So in my current window length, which character is repeating maximum times? If we consider only take the substring. A is repeating twice. So what is the maximum repeating characters count is 2. Window size is 3. And what is k given to me is 1. Can I say that if I have the window size and from the window size, I will remove my maximum repeating characters. 3 minus 2. If I do that, I will get k. Can I say this? If 3 is the size, maximum repeat is 2. 3 minus 2, I am getting 1. Okay, let's see another example. I have this string B A B B. Window size is 4. Maximum repeating characters count is B. 3. What is K? K is again 1. I get 1 here. So the point I'm trying to make is if I subtract my window size minus max repeating count, I am actually getting a certain expression which I can call. So what I'm saying is if I do this window size minus the max repeat. I will get my number of non-repeating characters, which need not be k always. It is k over here, but it need not be always. So what is the expression I'm trying to create? Window minus max repeat gives me the non-repeating count. What I have to check is my non-repeating count has an upper bound of k. So in case this becomes greater than k, then I have to slide the window. So those who have done at least two, three questions on sliding window will understand what thing I'm trying to talk about. Well, if not, please watch sliding window basic videos and then come to this. It's a little advanced 
special. So if the non-repeating character count becomes greater than k, I'll slide the window and adjust it. But if the non-repeating count exactly equals k, which is in this case, my non-repeating count 3 minus 2, it is exactly equal to my use case what I want. So I'll consider this and put it into my max length variable. So initially AAB served as a potential candidate of my substring. Later on, it was replaced by BABB, which, become a which became a longer substring. So the intuition which I'm trying to talk about is this is the core formula which you have to use. You have to take the window size, you have to take the max repeating character count and subtract it and check if it is greater than K, slide the window. If not, you just take the max. The code and everything is already given in the GitHub description. The code and everything is already there in the GitHub repository. It's, been, it's there in the description. I'm not going to do the code. I'm talking about the thought process over here. We'll also do a dry run to understand what I'm talking about. This is the input that we were talking of and k is equal to 1. So uh, what was the expression? I So let's do a, uh, let's talk about the approach step by step and we'll do a dry run also. So this is the input. This is already written. The expression which I was saying is take the window size minus the max repeating count will give me the non-repeating count. And then we'll see how are we using it. So let me write step by step. What are we doing? The first step is you have to initialize the variable. So we'll have uh, max repeat is equal to zero. Uh, and you will also have sliding window, right? So you'll have the pointers left, which will be zero again, right? Which will be again zero. So all the different initialize, the max length you need, everything will be equal to zero. Now you also need a hash map in this case. We'll initialize a hash map. Why do we need hash map? Because we need to keep a track of what is repeating. Okay. So this is the step one of all the initializations is done. Then we will run a loop. We'll loop from i equal to zero to n. So I'll call this the right pointer. And then what we have to do is first, we'll take the current character and add it to hash map. I'll have this hash map and I'll take my current character like A I have, I'll add it to hash map. This is going to store my count and this is going to store my character. So I'll have a hash map of uh, character and uh, integer. Okay. So I've added it to hash map. Now, uh, how do we calculate the window size? Window size will be denoted by the two pointers, the left and the right pointers. This is going to be right minus left plus one. So if I have two characters like this, 0, 1, what is my window size is 2. So my left pointer will be here. My right pointer will be over here. So right minus left is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is my window size. This is how I will get my window size. So that is fine. Next is I have to get what? I have to get the max repeat count. Where am I right now? Wherever my right pointer is, it is a loop. It's a for loop which is running. So where am I right now? My right pointer is wherever my right pointer is and there. So the character which is pointed out by this can be the character which is my current character, which is CURR, let's say. This is my current character. So max repeat count is nothing but your hash map dot get. You have to get from hash map whatever your count of this character is. Or it can be the existing max repeat count. It's like uh, if I write the exact expression, it is something like math dot max of your max repeat count or you'll get from hash map, whatever the count you have, as of now, whatever your current character is, that that count. So it's like, is your count of the current character more or the max repeat count, which you already have stored, whichever, whichever the case may be. So I need my window size I got. I got the window size. I got the max repeat. I got, now I'm just trying to get the mat dot max and get the max repeat count also. What is the final thing I have to do? I have to do non-repeat now to calculate. So I've already told window size minus max repeat. Next step is, now you have to see like if or uh, it's like a while kind of a condition, while loop, while your non-repeat, as long as it is greater than k, I don't need it. So just slide the left pointer. If I write the expression of doing that, it is something like, you have to slide the left pointer. So what it means is from the hash map, you have to remove that entry or not remove that entry. I'm so sorry. From the hash map, whatever character is being pointed by your left pointer, you have to just reduce it by minus one. Okay. I'm not discussing the code over here. So you'll slide the left pointer. It need not be a while loop. It can be an if condition also. After that, you just have to update the max. Again, the math dot max, your current max, what you have. 
and your window size. So these are the steps. Now we'll do a dry run to understand this in greater detail. So dry run on this input A A B A A. Okay, K is equal to one. So what is the longest substring that you can get? What is going to be the length of the longest substring? If I replace this B with A, all my A's will be there. So I will get max equal to five. Or if you think this substring also, initially, if I replace this B with A, I'll get three A's sequentially. Or if I take this substring, if I replace this B with A, I'll get four. So eventually I'll get five. So how is this going to happen? So I have my hash map over here. So I'll add A. So first thing is we are looping, right? So my left pointer is here. Uh, my left is here. My right is here. I added A. In my hash map, I made my entry as one. So I have put an entry. That's my current character. So after adding to the hash map, what am I going to do? I have to check the window size. Window size is one. Max repeat count is going to be the same itself. It is one. So one minus one is zero. So zero is, of course, not greater than K, like we have said. This is not good. So what we will do is our max variable is now going to be manipulated to one. So it's just one character. One is max. I'll add another character. So my right goes and my A becomes two. Same drill. Window size is two. A, A. This is the window size. What is, uh, okay, let me also write the max repeat count. So max repeat count, initially it was zero because we got in one character already. So it became one. Now, when I have my right pointer in the second A, now there is two A's. So in this case, what is the window size is two. What is the max repeat count? Max repeat count, here we have said that is going to be max of current, whatever count you have or the current characters count. Since you have two A's, the max repeat count is overridden, so it becomes 2. So max repeat count is 2. Window size is also 2. 2 minus 2, 0. Again, the same drill. So my max is updated. You got it. Got it, right? Because two window size is 2, max repeat is also 2. Non-repeating count is 0. 0 is not greater than k. So I will come to this and I'll update the max. So my max is now 2. Now b comes. So I'll have an entry b and 1. Now what is the window size now? Window size is 3. What is the max repeating count? Initially, I had two. For my current character, I'll get hashmap.get of current character. Current character's count is one only. So the max repeating count, you can understand now, right? Which character has been repeated so far the maximum number of times? A has been repeated the maximum number. So max repeat will still remain as two. So window size is three. Max repeat is two. Three minus two is one. One greater than one? No. But one is equal to one. Okay. So I'll update the max now. Because my max is initially 2 and my window size has increased. So I got a greater length now. So my greater length is this. This became my first candidate. Where I actually did a replacement. Okay. Now, uh, okay. My right was here. So right will now be over here. Again, A's count has to be updated. So A becomes 3. Window size is 4. What is the max repeat count now? Max repeat, as I said, it's always the current character's count. Or the existing max. 2 is the current character is 3. A is 3. So max repeat will get updated to 3. So window size is 4. Max repeat is 3. 4 minus 3. Again satisfying. It is equal to k. But of course not greater than k. So in this case we are not getting any kind of a condition which is uh, greater than k. Okay. It seems. So again the max gets updated. So max was 3. So window size has become 4. So max will now be 4. My right moves ahead. Now. A again is added, A becomes 4. So, max repeat, the window size is now 5. Max repeat is again updated. So, what is the maximum repeating character so far? The A's has been repeated the maximum number of times. So, max repeat count has to be replaced. It will be replaced by 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Again, not greater, but the max has to be updated. So, my window size is 5. Max, current max was 4. So 5 is greater, max became 5. So hence, we have completed the string and we got our output as 5. So in this way, we got the length of the longest substring by replacing the character. So I'm hoping this question is clear to you guys. The code is in the description. So please refer to that. Thank you so much for watching.